The concept for the PACE class came during the planning cycle for the 2021 inauguration. During the planning cycle, uh, two significant events happened. The Christmas 2020 bombing in Nashville, where the bomber ended up taking out the AT&T switching station. Then 12 days later, we had the insurrection at the United States Capitol. Given the, the climate of the, of the nation these days, it's made it even more urgent that we have a very interoperable, resilient communications plan. And Charlie is at the epicenter of that. When I went around to our assisting agencies and said we need to enhance our PACE plan, I got a lot of blank looks from people and I understood that they didn't understand what the concept was so that we needed to come up with a, a training curriculum. It's essentially looking at how we communicate from a primary alternate contingency and emergency uh, perspective. If God forbid our communication methods or pathways in the district go down, we know exactly how to fall back and what, what ways we can fall back to communicate across the district. Charlie scratched the service and asked questions and said we need a backup to the backup in a formal predictive process. I wanted to make sure we had a structured curriculum that everybody could work off of and that's the way we would be training people so no matter what jurisdiction we went to when we were talking about pace planning everybody understood what the structure was. Charlie has been a really primary stakeholder in ensuring a safe and secure future for how we communicate and this training that he's helped develop is now nationwide. He was at Liberty Island the day of 9-11 and was personally involved in the coordination to some degree of the largest maritime evacuation in our history. Charlie is the type of employee that goes out of his way for, for the people around him. Um, he always strives to make the district a better place to live and visit. There's no 80% day. It's game on, let's get busy, let's make things happen. And that's Charlie Gadeff. Why I'm so passionate about it is I've been a first responder and I've been victim that during a mass gathering or a critical incident, I've had communications lost and not had the ability to have situational awareness to make certain critical decisions. So I don't want the uh, responders or even the public that I'm serving now to have to go through that experience. 